Idea. Try turning yourself into Silco from Arcane. That, my friend, seems like a fantastic idea, so why not give it a shot? Welcome to this brand new episode of Turning Myself Into. I can go on and on telling you how amazing the animated Netflix show Arcane is, but that's not what we're here for today. Silco is a villain from the show and many people thought it would be a fantastic idea to turn me into him. For the very reason that there's a bunch of similarities, but I hope not too many, because... Well, anyways, this is the photo I took for today and that's what we're gonna use to turn myself into Silco. So let's just go ahead and run Photoshop. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in Photoshop. Uh, this is the beautiful picture I have taken. It's a bit strange. This is of course gonna be a vial of shimmer. And overall, I'd say it's pretty obvious what this is gonna be. I think a great place to start is the color of my clothing. Of course, the uh, shirt Silco is wearing is sort of red, dark red. So let's go ahead and fill this entire shirt with with red. It really is that simple. Gotta make sure my arm stays skin color. There you go. And I'd say then that is pretty much red. Now on top of this, I am going to put this guy. Of course, this matches the clothing of Silco much better. So let's go ahead and warp this a little bit to make it uh, fit, so to speak. Kind of like that. I'm curious what it would look like if we do it like this. Then of course, we're gonna have to remove a bunch of these areas to make it work. Basically the entire inside right here, we don't need whatsoever. There you go. Now that right there is looking uh, particular. Silco's coat is pretty high though. It doesn't go all the way down. So let's go and try to replicate that idea. And then right below it has to be um, quite dark, almost black maybe. Adding some shadows around there, most of all under the arms. Then we're also gonna need some shadows below it. Because right now it simply looks awfully fake. I guess this isn't great, but also not terrible. So let's just go with it. Silco has a tie, so let's go ahead and add one too. So let's go and erase some areas because we definitely don't want to see the whole thing. His is white, so let's go ahead and make ours white as well. There you go. And then a bit brighter, just something like that. I'd say this is not so bad. Now, Silco does have these weird flaps on his coat, like these right here. So I feel we definitely should add something like that. So let's cut these out. There you go. And then I sort of have to match these two. So guess what? This is going to be a bunch of warp once again. Possibly something like this could work. Remove all this. Make it a little bit darker, just like so. Add the necessary shadows. And there you go. That is definitely a lot better. I like that a lot. Then a very characteristic thing about Silco is those golden lines. So we definitely, definitely have to make those as well. Now, they aren't going to look identical because, of course, my suit looks just a tad different. But we can just make something very similar anyway. Now, first, I'm tracing the shapes for where we want to see the golden areas. Make that a beautiful shape. And then I I think if I just put this texture inside it, there you go. That instantly looks pretty good, but it does need some work, some shadows and stuff. This is gonna be a bit random. I'm not sure where exactly it should be, but I'm just gonna try something. There you go. Something like that should be pretty cool, I think. It is quite typical that the first thing I do after I get purple hair is make it brown again, because Silco, of course, does not have purple hair. But then his hair is pretty dark and grayish, so it shouldn't be too vibrant. Um, And then I guess it's it's time to work on my face for a little bit. That is by far the biggest challenge of this whole video. First of all, let's try and get rid of this eyebrow first because he doesn't have an... Oh, I mean, it doesn't really have to be all that clean at all because it's going to be one massive scar anyway. Uh, so yeah, I think something like this is... <laughs> is pretty good. Now I am going to go ahead and overlay this picture of the actual Silco to kind of see where the scar goes. Now I'm simply going to try and sort of blend these two together in a way that doesn't look too animation-ish. And I know this is kind of cheating, but I really don't know how else to do this, to be completely honest with you. I'm going to put that right in his eye here. And as we know, that eye is almost pretty much completely black. So let's go and add a bunch of shadows on the sides, most of all. There you go. Then of course, we're also going to need that iris inside of it. Therefore, I have this one and I'm going to make that very nice and orange. Very nice. And then I'm going to use a brush to erase the edges, kind of like that. 
I guess. We're also gonna need matching reflections with the other eye, so that means we're gonna need a very bright light right there, just like this one right here. At this point, I don't even know what I'm doing. I have no idea if this is gonna look good or not. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, you know what? Let's move on to the vial first, because I have no idea what the hell I'm even doing at this point. <laughs> Let's go and use this tiny uh, tube. Then we have to erase the areas behind my fingers, just like so. Then to fill this little vial with shimmer we're gonna have to make it pink just like so maybe it should be a tad more purple instead like that then we have to add some reflections just like this then at the top here i'm gonna make it a bit darker maybe and maybe some very bright light in the middle right there and of course on top we're gonna add some glow just like that it's a bit much that actually looks very good you can also add some tiny little bubbles to give it a little bit more realism i'm just making some dots and as you can see just that already makes it so much more realistic wow i love that that's great okay so now we have pretty much the most important stuff done the thing about this is i don't want it to be too much benny but it also definitely shouldn't be too much silco like it needs to be a nice middle ground sort of and i feel like this is pretty much that. Now, of course, we're not finished yet because we need to put Bilko into an environment. So let's go and do that right now. I was going for that creepy underwater office, so I began with a background. Because of the strong blue colors, I had to add that vibe to me as well. Before adding more elements, I first added shadows and highlights to myself to make it a little more cohesive already. added various things to the background. First some underwater particles and bubbles and after that I began making the structure inside. make sure it still looks like the water is outside of the glass, I added the dirty texture on it along with uh, some cracks. Now for some nice pose effects I applied a blur to the background and later some pink highlights from the vial. Also added a creepy desk to give the whole thing some life. Finally I thought some fish could finish it. I didn't really know what the sea monsters looked like, so I decided to use normal fish and put them far into the background. a camera raw filter and then that's pretty much it. Oh 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I actually really like this one. It makes me look stylized and badass for a change. And well, if you have a cool idea for a character for a next episode, definitely let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you haven't seen the show Arcane yet, I highly, highly recommend it. It's something else. It is definitely in my top three favorite shows of all time. So if you have time, check it out. It's fantastic. Then if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you enjoy my overall content, feel very, very free to subscribe. That would mean the world to me and hopefully also to you because you're getting some epic content. Then I hope I'll see you in my next video.